so hello and welcome back to the very first video of the postman tutorial series so to from to this video onwards we will be starting our new series of postman wherein we will be learning what is postman what is its features and uh, uh, we will uh, build some uh, projects on on it and we will test our apis as well for that project okay so before getting into the project uh, building a part we, we first need to understand what is the th theory behi behind the postman okay so in this video we will be talking about the introduction to postman and we will see uh, some basic features which uh, postman has offers okay okay so we'll see what is postman first so what is postman a uh, postman is an AP api platform for building and using apis okay so the postman simplifies each step of the api lifecycle and streamlines the collaboration so that you can create a better apis and faster okay so what is api api means application programming interface uh is think it as an uh, request when the client sends and request to the server uh, through through a network and these these communication between the client and server uh, is done through the apis and these apis are to test and create a, a corporate level apis or means a business level apis uh, these tools uh, like postman's are used okay so there are 10 features of uh, postman let's see one by one okay the first is the postman api Okay, the Postman APIs allows you to programmatically access the data stored in your Postman account, right? So to perform all the classic CURD operations like create, read, update, delete uh, on your collections, environment, mocks and more. Okay, so I think uh, this is the coolest thing here in the webhooks folder also. We'll see what is webhooks uh, uh, as we go on into our series and next is Postman Echo. Uh, the Postman Echo is a service that we, we build as a bit of sanity checkers and learning tool. It allows you to test your REST clients and make sample API calls. Okay, so there, this, this is used to make the sample API calls. As the name suggests, the API echoes back what you send to it. Okay, so uh, API in return gives us the, gives us the reply. Okay, uh, the Postman Visualizer. Uh, uh, which is one of my favorite as well the postman will, uh, provides a programmable way to visually represent your request responses using html css and javascript and we can uh, we can add visualization for the response body right into the uh, postman okay uh, next is built-in libraries uh, okay so every programming lo uh, programmer loves the building libraries because it makes uh, his or her job Way, way way easy okay so postman has a suite of external library available to use in a pre-request and test the script tabs okay uh, then comes workflow control what is workflow control in a, in a collection with a multiple request oftentimes it makes sense of sense for the request to be run in a sequential order right so if uh, once this uh, this request uh, over then this request will uh, will be served like, like that other times it will help to skip or repeat a certain request okay so there comes the workflow control uh, we'll see that one as well uh, collaboration features is uh, another feature postman used to uh, used to be a platform where people work in isolation and tested api on their own okay with commenting, forking, branching, pull request, tagging, I hope uh, all these features you know because uh, as we have also seen uh, git, github and I am assuming that you know git and github as well uh, where all these forking, branching, pull request features are there and these features are working together has never been easier. Take an advantage of multiplayer, exp uh, multiplayer experience with shared workspaces and make it a group effort okay so there in that phase uh, collaboration features comes where you can collaborate with, with your teammates or your friends to, uh, and do your task easily okay so collection level information for variable scripts and auth credentials that will be reused for the multiple requests in a specific folder or collection postman makes it easy to follow the dry what is dry don't repeat yourself software uh, development principle it is a uh, software development principle dry software development principle okay so this uh, collection level information uh, adheres to the dry principle of the software development okay 
so the monitors for the regression testing okay so uh, monitors are a great way to stay up to date on the health and performance of your apis they run through your collections and give you the status of your tests but they are really only as good as your tests by running some monitor automatically in different environments you can test it against the uh, multitude of the scenarios throughout the day okay so we'll see uh, built in graphql support uh, this is an another uh, feature which postman offers to us graphql has exploded in the popularity in the recent years as you guys knows uh, so this feature is also useful and last one is document uh, documentation pizzas so everyone knows whenever we stuck at any point we refer to the documentation we uh, see there what 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 all developers uh, uh, have returned to that issue we whenever we got an issue we see uh, we look into the documentation okay so that is also features uh, provide provided by the postman as well okay so i hope uh, you got the features and uh, you uh, you have got some idea what is postman as well so in our upcoming videos uh, we'll see uh, how we can install a postman on a, on our pc and we'll after that we will go ahead with using the postman and as the series continues i hope you like the series and thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one